In this video, we're going to walk through the process of it importing and creating a toolpath using an STL file. So an STL file is a file format that's commonly used in creating a 3D model. So first we're going to click on new model. We're going to create a new uh, workspace. In this case, I'm going to be working in millimeters. I've created a workspace of 388 millimeters on the Y axis, 228 on the X axis. And as you can see, my origin position, if I'm using my iconic machine, is a set at the top left corner. I'm going to click OK. We're going to go up here to reliefs in the menu bar, and we're going to select import a 3D model. And as you can see, we have a 3D model called custom door panel. I'm going to open up that 3D model. Now there's going to be a dialog window that's going to open up here momentarily. That's going to give us some ability to um, configure this model to exactly what we're looking for. So first of all, you can see up in the top section here, the first option that we have is to center the model or to position the model wherever we want it to be on our workspace. So in this case, I want to center it in the middle of my workspace. The next section here is to rotate the model on an axis. So as you can see, uh, we have the option of rotating the model on the X, the Y, or the Z axis. In this case, on this particular model, I want to rotate the model on the Z axis. And by doing so, what it should do is it should rotate the model, basically uh, configuring it from perhaps a horizontal configuration to a vertical consider configuration or vice versa. Uh, in some cases, when you're bringing in a 3D model as an STL file, you will see that there will be a need to rotate the model to get it in the proper configuration. And it, you can see down here that we have the ability to link the X, Y, and Z axis. I'm going to unlink these right now, and I'm going to set the model size to exactly the size of my material. So the model will perfectly match the size of the, pro of the project space that I'm working on. So my X coordinate is 228 millimeters. My Y coordinate is 388. And in this case, I'm going to make my Z coordinate 12 millimeters. I'm going to apply that. And now I'm going to paste the model into our workspace. And it's a fairly large model, so it may take a few seconds to do so. You can see that the uh, processor is calculating that information now. I'm now going to close this paste 3D model. And if I look, at our toggle relief preview, you'll see that the model has been pasted into our workspace. Now we're going to create the toolpath for that. So we're going to click over here on toolpaths and we're going to select a 3D machine relief toolpath because this is a 3D model. And I'm going to machine the whole relief. I'm going to select as the tool to use for this particular project, I'm going to use a 132nd conical V bit. And I'm going to not use a roughing tool, but I will scale down, scroll down here to set my save Z and my home Z. And as you can see, my save Z by default is set at 13 millimeters. I'm going to change that to six millimeters. I'm going to change my home Z to six millimeters. So it's roughly a quarter of an inch that the tool will lift above the material when it's not machining. And I'm also going to click to select the material setup. You can see by default it has put the material Z0 at the bottom of our project, and we don't want that. We want it at the top. And we also want to change our material thickness. In this case, we're going to be working with a 24 millimeter material thickness. And we're going to click Calculate. And as you can see, it's calculating our toolpath. There we have it. The toolpath is completely calculated. And lastly, Let's run the simulation and see what the project's going to look like when it's completed. Of course, this is a very large uh, model and it's a very detailed, although it's a very simple project, there's a lot of um, fine detail in the mo on the motion here. So it will take a little while to calculate the toolpath, but when we're done, we should see a, a simulation of our toolpath and we should be good to go. So as you can see, our model has completed. We can rotate our model around and zoom in to make sure it's exactly what we're looking for. But it looks like uh, everything is as it should be. So that is importing an STL file into our Cam Express.